Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris from windflectorexpert.com and in this video I am going to show you how to deploy the windflector client remotely and using only command line tools. So it's easy to automate doing this on many computers. Of course, if you only have 20 or so machines on which you want to install the client, you can just go ahead and use the setup there and it won't take much time. However, if you need to deploy the client onto a couple hundred machines, then of course it's gonna take a lot of time and admins don't like wasting time. Winflector doesn't waste your time. You can do it effectively. So this is the client, it's clean, it doesn't contain the Winflector. So let's go to the server now and see how to configure and deploy the Winflector client. We're on the server and there are two things we want to do. First of all, we'll go over the deployment options, which can put the shortcuts to the remote applications onto the client's desktop or start menu. This speeds up the deployment and makes the applications easily accessible even to the less technically inclined users. Let's start the Winflector server. Go to preferences. Go to Applications and check these two boxes. Create application shortcuts on the client desktop during the first login and create application shortcuts in the client's menu start during the first login. It is also possible to add encrypted user password into the shortcuts, which you might want to check, especially if the users don't know their passwords. So let's use it. You can also edit a selected application and disable shortcuts creation for this particular application. Let's save it. Yes. Disconnect the configurator and start the Winflector server. That's it for the server configuration. Let's go to deployment. In order to deploy the Winflector client to the target machine, we need to do three things. 1. Make sure that the client files are accessible to the client machine. 2. Install the client. 3. Use the client so that the shortcuts propagate. In this case, I have a workgroup set up so I can share files and I'll be using the PS executability by Mark Rusinovich to execute remote commands. The particular remote execution and transfer tools don't matter much. We're gonna be installing the Lightwind Flexor client available with your Winflector server install. It is located at C, Winflector, Server, HTTP root, bin, directory under the default install path. So this is this file, WFL client dash en. And we'll copy it to C, temp, WF setup, and share the directory. It's shared now so we can access it from the target machine. The fun now begins. Open up the command prompt and navigate to the directory containing psexec which you can get from the Microsoft website. Now, you have to modify your PSExec parameters accordingly to your situation. In my case, I'll be connecting to the computer called ASW using the user admin. First of all, I'll copy the setup onto the client machine. So ASW using the user admin and the copy command. To C temp. All right, the file has copied, and now we'll launch the setup. Now, Winflector Expert gives you tested advice. So I have spent some time coming up with this command line, so it works for you.
All right, and now the setup options, very silent, and directory, which I want to install to see WinFlector. Type in the password. The setup is blazingly fast. Well, the service starting and things that the PS exit does took some time, the setup actually ran at most two seconds. So now we go and want to launch the Winflector client so that the shortcuts propagate. We have an article on the client command line switches, so you can figure out the command line for your needs. But in this case, it will go like this. AWASW minus D minus I minus U admin C WinFlector client WFC with the user being Chris, password being Chris, with the address of this machine being 192.168.37128. Minus show offs, which is important because it will propagate the shortcuts. Now you need to use the minus D switch because otherwise it will run synchronously and we will be waiting for a graphical application to exit, which is a problem because it will never exit. Alright, so the client has started and we'll kill it now. Admin task kill. Image name is VTM because the VTM is the application that um, is running now. Push F. All right, so the VTM has been terminated, and that's it as far as deployment goes. It's obvious that these commands can be executed on many computers automatically using even just a batch file, and any scripting language will make a short work out of this. So let's see what happened on the client machine. As you can see, the shortcuts have propagated. You can just click on them and the apps will work. Check out the calculator. Boom. It works. You can go a bit further than this and add these shortcuts to the auto start so that the apps will launch as the user logs in, simplifying their workflow. All these commands are available in the article linked in the video description. It has been a long video and I hope you enjoyed it. Check out winflectorexpert.com and see you soon.